Here are six tips to quickly clean your data in Excel, and this is especially helpful if you've imported the data from a source other than Excel. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. The very first tip is how to take out extra spaces from your data. So here you can see, let's say we've imported some data and we've got extra spaces at the start of some of the cells, quite a lot here for Jimmy John's, and then some have some extra spaces at the end. And this is going to <laughs> wreak havoc with formatting as well as other formulas that we want to use later on with our data. So very easy. All you have to do to take out these extra spaces is to do equals trim and place it on the cell that has the spaces and then the spaces will be gone. And what is especially helpful, let's add some extra spaces here. It's going to remove all the funky spaces that happen within the text. So it removes extra spaces from the start, from the end, and it removes anything more than one space between two words in Excel. So very simple equals trim. It's so simple but so many people don't know about it, it'll save you a ton of time. Now let's move on to the very next thing. I'm gonna hit control page down to do it quickly. Go to the next tab, remove all formatting. So a lot of times people will go, okay, here I've got an italics, an underline, a background color. Let me just hit the I, the U, change the background color. Takes forever. Go ahead and select all of your data here I'm going to do control shift down. Then let's go all the way over here and we can hit the clear button. It's on the home tab and then go down to clear formats. Easy, simple, and it's going to clear everything. To do that with a keyboard shortcut, it's also very simple. So let's go ahead, select the data quickly, control shift down, then alt H E F. So control shift down to select everything. Alt H E F. Bam. You've cleared all the formatting quickly and easily. Just make sure that when you're on the home tab, if you don't use the keyboard shortcut, don't click clear all, or it's going to remove everything from the cells and take it back to the way it was before you put anything in there. Simple control Z to undo that. For the next tip, let's go ahead and change the case of text. So oftentimes, if you get data from a CSV file, it might not be formatted correctly. Here we have a bunch of names. Let's go ahead and make the first letter of each word capitalized. We can do that using the proper function, just equals proper, put it on the cell with the text, hit enter, and then we've got the name formatted nice and neatly. Copy that down. Perfect. So proper, simple, equals proper, Capitalize the first letter of each word. Very next one, uppercase. Let's say we need everything uppercase equals upper. Nice and easy. Copy it down. And I'm sure you can imagine that the lowercase is simply equals lower. It's not going to do anything here because these are already all lowercase. But if you had any capitalizations, it would make it lowercase. So three very simple things. Oftentimes these might go hand in hand with the trim function, proper function, upper function, lower function. So no more changing the case by hand of your text. But do note, there are problems with some names that have a Mick or something like that in the beginning, or it could be like an O'Leary. So Irish names where you're going to have multiple capitalizations in the last name, that will cause problems. And there's really nothing that you can get around that with these three simple functions. Um, you're just going to have to put up with a few issues with the names, especially if you have a list of, let's say, 100,000 names. Uh, most of the time, there's no point in making an exception for those few names that need multiple capitalizations in the last name. So just stick with the proper upper and lower functions. That'll cover you 98% of the time, at least when it comes to names. Very next one. Let's go to quickly update formulas. This is a very interesting one. And uh, here's a good example of a tutorial I did not long ago. We've got a word here, or we've got text here, a word here, 
and then how many times that word appears in this cell here. In this case, it's not working correctly. There are two A's. The reason is because the cell references are off. And look at this brutal formula. It is going to be a pain to move all of these up here because there are over 20 cell references. So we go up, we're still not even at the top of the formula. So no point in wasting our time doing that. What you want to do for a formula like this, let's remember the cell references. We have A3, and we want it to be A2. So let's get out of there. Make sure you have this formula here on its own worksheet. Here, I only have one formula, and it's right here. That's very important, or you can really mess a lot of things up. Then simply hit Control F, go to the Replace tab, and what you want to do here, I've already got it in place for another formula, is you do find what? Well, we want to find cell A3. The case doesn't actually matter, so it could be a lowercase a. It's not a big deal. We want to replace A3 with A2. And we can hit replace all, and it will do it all very quickly for the entire formula. So you can see it had 22 replacements. Much faster than doing that by hand. The next thing that we need to do is to replace B3 with B2. So let's go ahead and do that. B3 shall now become B2. And there were two replacements for that one. Close, and you can see the formula now works. And all the cell references have been updated. So I can try it out with has, perfect, grape, perfect, perfect. So all we did there was a find and replace. Go to the find menu, control F, then go to the replace tab, and just type in here what you want to replace, and then what you want it to be replaced with. So you don't always have a monster formula like this, but if you do, it's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of headaches, and make it easier to not have mistakes with a formula. Now let's go to the very next tip. Let's quickly convert values to a number format. So this is another really big thing when you're importing data, and it is such a pain until you learn how to fix it. There are a number of different ways to fix this, actually, including just changing the formatting on the Home tab, but that doesn't work in all cases. The one that I found that works in the vast majority of cases is what we're going to do here. And all we're going to do is to take a 1, which is a number over here, formatted as a number, you can tell because it's at the right of the cell, and we're going to multiply it by each number over here. I'll show you two ways to do this. You can do whichever one is easier for you to remember. Here we've got a 1. Select that cell, hit Control c to copy it. Then select all of the sales numbers over here that we want to make sure are formatted as numbers in Excel and hit Alt, E, S, and then M. So we're going to paste special, the paste special menu. Then we're going to multiply. Hit OK. And you can see all the numbers have now become numbers. Now I find that a lot of people forget that one. They forget that you're multiplying the one by the whole thing with the copy paste special and it becomes kind of confusing. But one that's really simple and really intuitive, and you can't really forget this one, if you remember the basics of it, is to simply multiply each cell by 1. So this multiplied by 1. Hit Enter, and then we've got nice, neat numbers. And what you can do here, if you don't want to have formulas, very simple, Control-C, Alt-E-S-V, Enter. A great keyboard shortcut I showed you in another tutorial, which is to copy paste special values so that everything here is just what you see. There are no more formulas or functions. Now to get to the paste special menu, it's very simple. So if you didn't want to use the keyboard shortcuts for the first example, we could do control C, go over here, select the values, right click, go to paste special. Then you get to the paste special menu and you've got all the options here available to you. In this example, we clicked Multiply, just like that. And then to turn this from formulas and functions to numbers, we did Control-C, and this time without keyboard shortcut, right-click, Paste Special, then go to Values. 
OK. So that's two ways to do it. All you're doing is you're taking what should be a number and you're multiplying it by 1. Do whatever is easiest for you to remember. Now let's move to the last example. I'll show you how to easily split text into multiple columns. So here we've got our list of names once again. And let's split them up so we have a first name and a last name. It's very simple to do. You can select the data or just place the cursor within the data. I like to select it just to make sure everything's going to be OK. And then we can go to the Data tab and go over here to click Text to Columns. When this pops up, we get to choose how we want to split the data into multiple columns, fixed width or delimited. Usually, you want to use the delimiter. That allows you to tell Excel to split it based on a space or a dash or a comma. So here, the first and the last name are separated with a space. The space is a delimiter. So I would click Delimited. Click Next. Choose what is the delimiter over here. It'll select Tab by default. Let's uncheck that and then check space. And you can see down here in the preview window that it has split it into two columns. So you can see what it'll do with that delimiter. Then when you're done, you can hit Finish or you can hit the Next button and choose how you want the data to be formatted when it's in the multiple columns. When you're doing it with text like this, you don't really need to worry about this screen to change the formatting. It's not a big deal. You could also change the destination over here. And then hit Finish when you've got the result that you want. And there you go. So what it did is it completely split the data and kept the first names over here in this column and put the last names over here in this column. Notice if it can't find a delimiter, like down here for Voltron, then you're just going to have nothing in the following columns. Then we can simply change this to say first name, last name. So it was very simple. All we did, select the data, data tab, text to columns, delimited, choose the delimiter, which is a space. And then this time, I'm not even going to go to the next screen. Just hit Finish. And there you go. And that's six tips for how you can quickly and easily clean your data in Excel. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.